Okay, in this video we are going to do a one-way analysis of variance in SPSS and we'll actually start with data that we haven't really formatted yet uh, for analysis in SPSS. So in the previous video we did an analysis of variance quote-unquote by hand using Microsoft Excel. We had the data organized as you can see here with three columns, but actually this represents 30 different people um, and so what we need are 30 rows to represent those 30 people in SPSS. So I'm going to go over to SPSS and you can see that I've already started a file and I have the version uh, variable labeled here and I've got 10 people identified with the number 1 who saw version A, 10 people identified with the number 2 who saw version B, and 10 people identified with the number 3 uh, who saw version C. And for the rating, what is convenient is that I can actually select these values here in Microsoft Excel, Command C in my Mac, Control C in Windows, go back to SPSS, and I can paste those values in directly from Excel to SPSS and you can see that got 10 people and their ratings for uh, version A. So let me do that for the next column, version B, and put that into SPSS and then 10 people for version C. And now I have my data entered. I haven't saved this file yet, so I'm going to Command S and go to, yep, let's see here. I will put SPSS, SPSS data for one way, ANOVA, into our class folder. And now I can analyze these data very quickly, very simply. I just go to the, oops, it's giving me the saved file output window. Okay, now I will go back to the main view of the data and go to analyze, back to compare means. And as you can see, we have multiple different kinds of t-tests listed here. If you ever uh, use SPSS, you should experiment around with these and you can find any number of YouTube tutorials on how to do these. Uh, we did the independent samples t-test, which is the one that would most commonly be used in an A-B testing type of scenario. We're doing the one-way ANOVA now, and so all I have to do is click one-way ANOVA. Your window should look something like this. After you go to one-way ANOVA, you'll see rating and version here on the left, and rating is going to be our dependent variable and version is going to be our factor or independent variable. We have several options here. You can ask for, say, the descriptive statistics, that is the means and standard deviations. Um, we can ask to do certain corrections and things like that. Continue and press OK and we should get an output window that gives us our means and see here's our me column of means right here, 35, 55, 71. Does that correspond to what we computed earlier? 35, 55, and 71. Yes, that's there. And then we have an F value of 6.856. Does that correspond to what we computed? 6.856, that does correspond to what we computed by hand in Excel. And it's giving us a p-value for our ANOVA of 0 0.004. So that's very close to zero, meaning that it's very unlikely that the difference between these means is simply due to chance. And that's how you do a one-way ANOVA in SPSS.